hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country PDP governors won federal government and APC governors to leave Governor Godwin Obaseki alone. Governor Godwin Obaseki has been on the media um, for some time now because of um, his statement on the state of the economy, which he has gotten commendations for from those who mean well for the country. And let's know very well that those who are criticizing Obaseki's comment, they don't mean well for the country. They are the few who are uh, and destroying the country. Obaseki revealed that um, the borrowings the federal government um, is into is killing the economy and how exposed the federal government, how um, some billions was printed for them to share in March. We know how the, the, the story has gone so far. A lot of drama, controversies, contradictions here and there. Anyways, uh, PDP governors, they are warning um, the federal government as well as the All Progressive Congress uh, um, governors as well. You know, yesterday it was the Progressive Governors um, Forum that tackled Governor Gordon Obaseki. They called him different sort of names, made uh, um, different statements. PDP governors, they are telling um, the federal government that leave Obaseki alone. Let him be. That goes a long way to show that um, PDP governors are in support of what Governor Gordon Obaseki stated. You know, after um, presidency denied it, Obaseki came out very bold, very, very bold. I really admire that because um, at that point, <laughs> if um, he doesn't mean well for the country, we'll see him. He will just chicken out and begin to paraphrase and rephrase the statement that that wasn't what I meant. But Obaseki came out and stated that I stand by my claims. Very, very brilliant. So um, it, it shows um, the way things are going right now. It shows that PDP governors are in support of um, the revelation that Governor Gordon Obaseki made about the state um, of the economy, of Nigeria's economy. We have all of the details. PDP have um, sent a lot of messages to uh, President Muhammad Buhari and APC governors. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Press the bell as well. It really does mean a lot to us. God bless you. Governors elected on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, have risen in defense of Edo State Governor Gordon Obaseki following the attack on him by governors of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC over his claims that the federal government resorted to printing of currency to meet its obligation in the month of March this year. Obaseki had, while lamenting difficulty occasioned by the economic squeeze in the land, stated that things got so bad that government had printed the sum of 60 billion naira to share among the federating states a claim dismissed as false by finance and budget minister zainab ahmed in a statement signed by cyril mudabu director general of the pdp governors forum and made available to newsmen sunday the governors chided their colleagues in the ruling party for what they called the partisan slant that has since greeted Obaseki's advice to federal government on how to best manage its monetary policies. The PDP Governors Forum is alarmed that the partisan slant, a patriotic advice to the federal government by His Excellency Governor Gordon Obaseki on his monetary policies, has assumed. It is unhelpful for the Progressive Governors Forum to join the fray in the manner it did by its recent statement attacking the bona fides of governor obaseki who merely warned the monetary authorities about the danger of uncontrolled use of ways and means that is the printing of naira to support government's expenditure obaseki had a background in economics and finance and is very responsible governor who talks in a measured way his advice which by the way has been corroborated by none other than the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN himself, and the International Rating Agency, FITCH, should be heeded rather than being crucified for sounding a note of caution. No doubt the federal government had been supporting the states in the area of agriculture, budget, reform of federal government, executed project by the state, and a few other areas of intervention. 
Is CBN trying to be vindicative and vengeful by recalling its loan to the state because of an informed advice by a governor? Is it unfortunate that governors has plumbed to this level? The federal government should pluck financial leakages in the system and curb wasteful expenditure of billions of naira on projects that can be executed by the private sector and save a lot of money in the process, thereby relying less on ways and means by the CBN which brings pressure on the Naira, is inflationary consequences. Inflation in Nigeria is currently at 18.2%, the highest in recent years. We should all be concerned to find ways of stemming the tide. We are all involved in the urgent task of rescuing the economy of Nigeria and nobody should indeed play the ostrich, the statement read. Wow, this one is a brilliant one. You know, PDP governors, um, they've come out now, the opposition party. And you know, before now, I was stating that uh, um, Obaseki that stated, it was in our match here, we went to collect uh, money that CBN printed, that we shared money. I was like, where are the other governors? Other governors went and no one is speaking up. It looked like uh, Obaseki was uh, uh, um, speaking French or just stating something that is abstract. But very good right now, PDP governors are warning the federal government and even APC and governors right now that they should leave Governor Gordon Obaseki alone, that Obaseki knows what he's talking about. You know Obaseki's background before he came into politics, he was an investment banker. He has experience um, relating to finance and everything. And all he was saying that these guys, you are just borrowing money and you don't have a plan. There is no means to pay. The oil has gone. There is no oil in the country. The sweet oil has turned into bitter oil. And he's stating that you keep borrowing. You don't have, you're not, you not planning how to repay back. And now you're printing Naira. That, that one is a killer. The printing of Naira. You know, they denied it. And um, CBN governor just um, exposed them the more. Exposed President Mohammed Buhari the more that they actually printed. But it was loans. I like this one, the way the PDP governors have come together in unity to actually tackle the All Progressive Congress APC, that Obaseki should be left alone. He should be left alone indeed. I want to believe that this warning that um, PDP governors have sent out to federal government, they will take heed, they will hear, they will listen, and indeed leave the governor alone. You know, they've called him um, different names. Some of them have stated that Obaseki is just seeking attention. When even Edo APC um, responded, they were stating that um, is Obaseki not owing? Why is he talking about um, federal government owing? You see the way APC, they don't mean when for this country. They want to run the country dry. That is their intention. Anyway, God will deliver us from their hands. Guys, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.